hey beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is grace if you're seeing my gorgeous face for the very first time don't make it your last because the subscribing and sticking around you're going to have an amazing time on this channel so please be part of the tg family so today's video is inspired by an experience that i had a couple of years ago and i just thought i should share so i'll be talking about things that you should do before you apply for a job when you go for the interview and after you get the job offer so i've learned quite a lot of things in the past and i just thought to share um from my world of knowledge so this video is going to be divided into three we're going to talk about before you apply for a job what you should do when you end the interview what you should do and when you get an offer so yeah these are just tips that i want to share so let's talk about before you apply for a job so it's very easy when you're looking for a job and you there's this sense of desperation that you really want to get a job i've been there i think for all of us at one point or the other we've been in that position where we are so desperate for a job and it's more like anything and you see yourself asking someone please i'm looking for a job or if you see anything please let me know anything anything so before you apply for a job it's important that you get that mindset fixed first of all so it's not about anything i'm looking for a job anything i, I can do anything you have to be specific of what kind of job you would like to do and not just something you'd like to do to see if you actually have the required skill set to get the job done so, so when someone asks you or when you want to talk to somebody about oh I'm, i need a job you won't just vaguely say anything you could say okay i'm looking for a marketing role or a sales role or a communications role you know it's that specific so the first thing you need to do is you know get that right first that okay i'm looking for this set of jobs or you can decide to have like a set of jobs that you can for maybe marketing and sales it could be marketing sales communication depending on how diversified you are in your skill sets that's totally okay but then don't just be vague don't just be vague about i'm um, looking for a job and then any opening you see you just apply whether you're qualified or not which brings me to my second point you need to know if you're qualified for the role that you actually want to apply to so if you're want to apply to a marketing role and you don't have a marketing experience you should be looking for marketing intern intern role or you should be looking for marketing roles that you could grow in the maybe marketing roles that are looking for people with zero to one year experience entry level roles, something like that maybe you already learned about marketing you took some courses but you don't have work experience in it that's a way to go so you need to make sure that you actually meet the requirement at least i'm not saying you should meet everything in the requirement but at least it's like maybe 60 percent you meet the requirement and maybe you're open to learning on the job if they let you like if that's something that they are open to so yes that's what you should do then the next thing you want to do is to research about the company you're applying so i know it's very uh, taxing to you know start looking for one company or the other but if you actually if your goal is actually to stay in the company or the organization for a while you need to know what they do you need to understand their values you need to know how their employees are talking about them so do a quick google search if you don't find them on google um uh, that might be a red flag <laughs> uh okay maybe it might not be a red flag child if it's a new company but you should be able to find at least their website on google like you should be able to look up their website if they have social media pages you go check out to see what they're doing this is because you want to be sure that the company you're working with you're cool with what they are doing so some people they have this um thing that they will say okay they don't want to work with um, fintech companies or they don't want to work with a company that has certain values or stuff like that so it depends on what you want so you want to be able to do that research to find out then when you do that research you can go ahead and apply for the job when you apply for the job and you're waiting for the interview do a quick search on linkedin about the role that's the previous person or the person that's outgoing the person occupying the role you're applying to let's say you're applying for the role of a data analyst and in the organization they have like past data analysts you go on linkedin to check for data analysts in so, so so company the reason is because you want to see the profile of that person and also you may want to even reach out to the person to ask about their work experience in the company some people would be kind enough to share with you some people would not want to do that especially if they have bad experience they don't want to um, have that conversation online so they might not tell you what you need to know but it's important that you at least just research to see you know what they are doing how do they 
or when they were working in the company did they post anything out there like you just want to just have that insight of you know what it is and also you also want to look up the hiring managers on linkedin as well you check to see you can even do a google search if they are not on linkedin you want to see who the director is who the ceo is who is who is the hr just to have an idea of who they are and what they do so that you can be able to relate to them well during the interview because during the interview you don't know who you're going to be interfacing with so it's nice to get prepared you know about the company you know about the role and you know about the people that might be interviewing you so you stand a chance to actually get the role now let's get to the interview stage so during the interview it's important to answer the questions correctly be calm don't be don't fidget don't feel any negative kind of way just be calm be yourself don't lie be professional as well then also you want to ask about their expectations because some people have unrealistic expectations some organizations have unrealistic expectations trust me so you want to be sure that okay apart from this role that you will stated on so, so, so platform would there be additional additional duties and in the additional duties would there be additional pay what is it like you also want to ask about the growth in the company like so you may ask questions like oh i'm starting off as a sales representative if i if after a couple of months if i have skill and whatsoever a couple of years would I have a chance to be a sales manager? Because it's very important that you have a sense of growth. So you don't want to be in a company and be an intern for four years. Because there are actually people that are like that. And that's because maybe the company is so strict that they don't really switch. Um, you cannot really grow like that. You have to stay in a particular position or you leave the company. So you want to be sure, especially now these tips I'm giving are for organizations that you really want to work with, not just for you just want something to pass pass time or stuff. You really want to know these things so that you know if this is a company that would support your growth in your career. So ask them. Would I be able to grow? Is there promotion? Okay, there's promotion. How long do I have to work in this particular role before I get promoted? What do I need to do to get promoted? You want to ask all these things. So you also want to ask about the benefits of, you know, am I going to get allowance? Am I going to get um, paid leave? Because there are some companies that have, like, have unpaid leave. Like, you, know, you won't be paid when you go on leave. So you want to make sure that the company that you're working in actually understands work-life balance and stuff that you can you know take leave and there's going to be paid some companies pay 13 months you want to ask about the benefit is there health insurance you want to ask about that as well will i be if i if i work um on days i saw my work working um working days or working hours will i be paid additionally you want to know these things during the interview they will answer you so that you can have an idea you also want to ask about the previous person that was in this role why did the person leave or why is the person leaving or what are the things that the person did that you like or what are the things that the person did that you did not like you want to have all this information so you can know the kind of organization you're working with because you if you pay attention to the way they talk about maybe somebody that previously occupied the role you should tell you if this is the kind of company you want to work with or not so after the interview phase when they reach out to give you an offer they send you an email they attach a document congratulations can you find attached and yada 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 you are so excited now wait before you get so excited to so sign any document read it carefully read the contract read the offer know what the benefit is be sure that you're actually really cool with it if you're cool with it go ahead and sign it if you're not cool with it go ahead and negotiate maybe the salary is not it's not it doesn't meet your expectation go ahead and write to them that oh this salary does not reach, re, uh, meet my expectation this is what i would want to you to offer and then you can negotiate and you might be lucky they will accept your um, negotiation or you might not be that lucky and they will say no this is what we have this is our budget for this role and that's it but in, in either case it's not even about luck it just depends on what you actually want if the offer is not what you want just just decline then after that you want to sit down to analyze like okay so sometimes that the offer may not be as much as you want but maybe you want to learn something from the company you want that experience from that company or that organization you might analyze you say okay this money that they're offering me might not be too much but i think i can work with it you can even some companies they won't say oh this is what we're offering you after six months we'll review the pay or after a year we'll will review the pay it depends on what the how the company works and all of those things so you want to analyze it before you accept or decline the offer 
so yeah these are just a few tips i thought to share so if you're looking for a job i hope you find this helpful if you know somebody looking for a job right now please share this video with them because i'm sure that they'll find one or two tips helpful so yeah that's it for this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't i'm going to see you in my next video bye